Guys, we'll do the usual embargo for 10.30. See a show of hands for the mics, and if you can give your name and organisation for the question. Okay. Hi, Pep. Um, before we go into the game, can you just give some reaction on behalf of the club, please, to the sad news that Billy McNeil passed away? Well, a sad day. I didn't know him personally, but I know he was manager here for 18th, and uh, a big leisure for Saturday Glasgow. Uh, of course, our condolence for, of course, his family, and I'm so sorry. When we look ahead to this game, Pep, we obviously build it up as not just a Manchester derby, but we look at the wider implication of the impact it can have on the title race. So what are your thoughts on the magnitude of this game now? Well, four games left. So we have to win all four games to, to retain the title. It's not the easy place to, to go. But at the same time, nice place to go. So we know exactly what you have to do. And they fight for the finish the top four, and and we for retain the title, and we're going to go there to make uh, to do a good game. Will you have Kevin De Bruyne available for this game? If not, when do you expect to have him back? I don't think so. What's the prognosis? Do you, do you know? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Day has, by day. It, has it been scanned? What, what what's happened with Kevin? It's a muscular problem, and uh, we'll see the next days how it's going better. It's getting better. We'll see. But for tomorrow, it's not available. Obviously, as well, there's been reports today that Riyad Mahrez isn't happy at a lack of starts. What's the situation as you understand it? Because there has been an implication that he could be looking to leave in the summer. Riyad Mahrez will be with us the next season here, and the next one, and the next one. Have you spoken to him then as well? And he's obviously not happy. I don't need to speak with him. He will be with us next season. He's a player for us. We had the light of behavior and the way he played. He knows, and everybody knows, the competition in the squad. But Riyad is not going to move. He's going to stay here. And have you spoken he's to happy. Him? We are happy. Have you spoken to him, though, just to, to reassure him about your plans for him as well? And, and I suppose to allay any fears that he may have over his future. He came last season for a stay longer. It's not necessary to speak with him. Pep Mandy from Premier League News. Like you at Barcelona, Solskjaer is managing a club where he played. Uh, just how much do you think that can help you as a manager to know what it means to pull on the shirt and, and to know what the, the fans expect as well? No, I know the club is better. I know the club right now, my third season, more than the first season. I always you need more time. Of course, when you come back, he came back. He came back here after being a former football player. He knows everything, everything. So it's, it's an advantage, of course. And obviously, after so many years of dominance for Manchester United in the city, how proud are you that City are now the dominant team? The question is, I mean, in the, the, the Premier League, win the title. I mean, the city is it's OK. That is not the most important thing. It's true that three seasons we, since I am here, we did better than than them. But here is win the titles, not beat uh, United. Pep Simon Stone, BBC. Um, when you either saw or found out what had happened to Manchester United on Sunday, did, were you slightly concerned that that will make your task harder tomorrow, because? they will want to respond after a defeat like that? Well, a little bit, yeah. A little bit more. But even a good result, the confidence will be a little bit, a little bit higher. And, and it's a derby. And all the times we play against United, I remember was here, the derbies I played in, in, in Spain and in Germany, always there are special games and all the players do their best for themselves, for the fans, for the club, for where they are playing for. So. I saw the game, in fact, what they do, would uh, imagine a little bit what is going to happen against us, and, and that's all. It's a different game. The game Everton is over, it's finished, and new one tomorrow. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne last, last season was so pivotal to everything you did, and this year has been a very difficult season for him 
and you've obviously had to manage the side without him for long periods. Is he going to have to do some work or is there work that he can do during the summer to ensure that these repeated injuries don't happen to him again? Yeah, unfortunately it was one injured, another one, another one. Uh, in the past, he was safe, especially in, in muscular problems. Now he had two or three, I think, for the consequence he had in the knee. But normally with this kind of, you know, competition that we have in England and they come back for the injury, we don't have time to make a preparation, you know, to... Uh, they have to take the physical condition playing games every three days, but that is not the best way. Because the best way is make a good precision and make uh, the process. Now we have to... He has to, we have to... More attention, you know, in the little details. Like before, like we didn't have anything go forward, nothing happened. Now we have to be, you know, more attention. now see if he can play one or two more games until the end of the season and next season make a good precision and take care of himself. I think it's, uh, he he has a lovely family so in the terms of his life is is incredible well organized in the fact you know family training session rest and prepare for the next game and and we're going to speak with him with the doctors with uh, you know with the with the physios with everybody you know to make a program to be safe and to be fit that is what i'm going to try to do from now on pep we know obviously de bruyne is missing them for tomorrow and in terms of your squad bravo obviously is everybody else available for the derby yeah yeah we have some problems with some players but yeah almost everybody is good tomorrow going to make the last training we're going to see and just a word about your preparation for this game because obviously you analyze all your opponents Manchester United under Solskjaer started very, very well. It's, it's fallen apart, really, and on Sunday it was their worst performance. How do you then prepare for a team that don't seem to know what they're doing? No, I, I expect the best United. I expect the best United is going to tomorrow, I'm, I'm sure. So they are pride. The football players we have met always they have you know, pride to, to, to do their best, and tomorrow is going to happen. So prepare the game like always, what they do with the strong points or weak points and, and try to win the game. Hi Pep, Ari Lassoulsada from VG in Norway. Uh, some people are already uh, questioning the, the uh, permanent appointment of Solskjaer. Do you think that's fair and how much time do you think you need to rebuild a club like that? Mm, so I don't know because I'm not there. But of course you, you said you needed time when you came here so it's quite Everybody, a similar but task. But in the same time we don't have time. But do you think it's fair that people are questioning the appointment already now? Our our world, our position. I'm I'm close to Solskjaer. I understand perfect perfectly his his position. I am with him, so we are alone. We feel alone, and 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 that's why I understand completely his position because it happened to me. It happened to all the managers around the world. So we can sustain and stay if we win. If don't. We are in danger, so it doesn't matter what happened. That is a reality. You have to accept it. If you don't, I stay at home, and and you know it's it's, it's what it is. So, but uh, I understand him uh, uh, perfectly, and 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 I am with him. So I support him honestly. Hi, Pep. Andy Hampson from the Press Association. And some strong words from Raheem Sterling today about racism, um, suggesting there could be points deductions or even. Games played behind closed doors in the worst cases of racial abuse. I'm just wondering what your, your thoughts are and what he's had to say. I didn't read it, so uh, I don't know. So it's a suggestion. Uh, everything we can do to, to, to improve this kind of issue, to get him better, welcome. So I don't know if it's a solution, honestly. I didn't think about that. Uh, hi Pep, when, uh, when you came to Manchester City there was a structure where you knew the directors very well from a time in, in Barcelona. Uh, when Solskjaer came to United they seemed to um, looking for a structure. I mean how, how important is that part of, of the club uh, and how important was it to you to come here where a, a very well organized club and how make it easier to have success you have now? Well of course it's important but in the same time I don't know if, because I'm not there. If it's not well organized or well organized, I suggest what I think is Man United, and Man United must be really well organized. So, but really, I don't know. I'm not there, so I cannot give an opinion about that. But of course, it's important when all departments, from the chairman, CEOs, sport directors, players, 
the manager, players, staff, everybody go in the same in the same place. Of course, it's important. Okay, Pep, <laughs> you won your two derbies at Old Trafford. United haven't won the derby at Old Trafford since 2015. Actually, City have a great record there in the last couple of years. Why do you put that to why City has been successful at Old Trafford? Know. I don't make theories about what happened in the past. It's going to happen for the future or tomorrow. So, football game, every game is completely different than the, the previous one. So, I think the, the the most important, I think, reason why is the fact that this club in the last decade grew a lot, and that's why it's not as scary to to go there and play when before it was maybe more difficult you know the distance especially for for the quality of the players that manchester city had in the last 10 seasons made this game a little bit more equal than maybe before it was a little bit the, the gap was bigger so maybe that would be the reason why but honestly i don't know you guys from Mbappe, please,